If you handle several types of jobs, you may want to create custom versions of a cost book, such as one for change orders, one for insurance work, another for government jobs. These are called user cost books. All begin as exact copies of the original cost book. Here's how to clone new user cost books of your own. Start by clicking on File and New User Cost Book. Select the folder where you want to keep this cost book. The My Documents folder is a good choice. I'll call this cost book Room Editions because we'll use it for pricing room editions. OK, we've got a brand new cost book with no changes. In the last frame, I created a new user cost book, Room Editions. Changes you make to a cost book are in red. You won't find any red type in this new cost book. There aren't any changes. To switch to any other cost book, just click on File and switch user cost books. The user cost book I want is in the My Documents folder. Here it is. I didn't create this cost book. It's the default that came with the disk. Many cost books from Craftsman include area modifications factors, figures you can use to adjust all estimates to a particular job site. I'll show you. I'll click on Utilities and Options. On the Area Modifications tab, I'll enter the zip code for the job, 33054. Here are the recommended modifiers for Opalaka. I'll click to put these modifiers in effect. Now all figures in the cost book have been modified for Opalaka. Most national estimator cost books are revised monthly and made available at no charge on the internet. If you're connected to the web, click on Help and Cost Book Update to get the latest costs. To set how often your computer suggests updating costs, click Utilities, Options, and on the Price Updates tab. If you want double spacing or percent changes or unit costs in every estimate, there's an easy way to set these as defaults. First, I'll click on Utilities and Options and the General Settings tab. If I click on any of these, it's in effect every time I open a new estimate. I'll set the automatic backup at 5 minutes. The File Locations tab changes the default location for cost books, user cost books, and estimates. If you have to include sales tax in nearly every estimate, there's a way to include tax automatically. I'll click on Utilities, then on Default Tax Rates. Our rate is 7.25% on materials. Now it's automatic. Every new estimate will include 7.25% tax on materials. But note that tax rates in existing estimates aren't changed.